As just explained, the process needed to hear is complex and can be interrupted at any point during this process. When you are overexposed to noise, the hair cells in your ear become overstimulated and once the hair cells are overstimulated, they become paralysed and stop responding to sound. After a period of quiet, your hair cells will recover. However, repeated exposure to excessive noise over time will kill these hair cells and they lose their ability to recover. This can result in permanent noise-induced hearing loss. The major deterioration of hearing occurs during the first five to ten years of employment in a noise risk environment. As you can see, the hair cells of the cochlea on the left are of a person with normal hearing, and the one on the right shows the permanent damage overexposure to noise can cause. If we use our earlier example of seagrass moving with the action of waves in the ocean, we can demonstrate the impact of excessive noise on the cochlear hair cells. Initially, when large waves move over the seagrass, the seagrass bends with the waves, but recovers its position once the wave has passed. After repeated exposure to large waves, the attachments of the seagrass weaken and eventually the seagrass will break off. This is exactly what happens to the hair cells in your ear with repeated exposure to loud noise.